A community in the East comes together to share their issues with their congressman. First District Representative G.K. Butterfield stopped at Bertie High School tonight as part of his Jobs and Justice Tour, the economy, jobs, and health care all on the agenda. WNCT's Brandon Truitt spoke with the congressman this evening. He reports from Windsor. It was a packed house here at Bertie High School tonight as Congressman G.K. Butterfield took questions from his constituents. Hundreds of people from in and around Windsor showed up to hear an update from Washington. You cannot know what's on the hearts and minds of, of the constituents unless you reach out and, and, and hear what they have to say. Congressman G.K. Butterfield's Jobs and Justice Tour made a stop in Windsor Tuesday evening. The town hall style event took questions from the audience on note cards and allowed for direct response from the congressman. Dozens of issues came up in discussion, but one that stuck a chord with those in the audience, health care. It seems that the Republicans are, are determined to put their energy on eliminating or reducing Medicaid. Butterfield says District 1 relies heavily on the program, but feels Republicans' plans to put health care to the states would cripple the system. And when the states uh, run out of money, and they certainly will, given the cost of health care, then a lot of people will not have uh, coverage. Uh, the states will either have to raise taxes and get additional revenue in the state in order to, to pay for health care for low-income people, or they'll have to reduce services. Windsor, a town hit again and again by severe weather, still looking for much-needed revitalization funds from Hurricane Matthew. But I believe we have somewhere around $2.3 billion in the 2018 budget if we can just get the budget passed. Congressman Butterfield will continue his tour throughout the East. For updates on that and more information, visit our website at WNCT.com. In Windsor, Brandon Truitt, not on your side.